See, Dream Four just dropped, and apparently it's better than Nano Banana on paper. So in this video, I'm gonna do a first impressions of Seed Dream 4. We're gonna be doing text to image in this, and I'm gonna run it through a couple different benchmarks of mine. We're gonna test how it does with interior rendering, text, food, animals, nature, and people, just so you can see if it's worth your time. So let's get right into it. I've got Fal AI open. I'm just gonna open up a new tab. If you've never used this platform before, basically houses every single AI model out there, and you're able to generate directly in their playground. If you add a payment source, they'll actually give you 10 bucks in credits, so it's basically free for you to play around with. But anyways, here you can see I've got Seadream 4 here, and I'm using text image. You could use Nano Banana, you can use anything. It's all hosted here. So how this works is you've got your typical input with your prompts, right? But what's interesting about Seed Dream is you can actually boost the resolution of the image quite high. If Nano is stuck at 1024, you can actually bump this up to 4K. So watch this, I can actually just put in 4096 by 4096, and then I can even generate multiple versions of that image, which is pretty incredible that we're getting like 4K images directly out of this. But talking about crazy before I get into my benchmark, it's just like the reality that it made this diagram and it actually makes sense in terms of like tropical rainforest, the text doesn't look bad, crazy. So let's get into my examples and I'll walk you through each of them and you'll see the prompts as well if you wanna copy them. So first ones first is I've got this modern kitchen. We dropped this prompt in here. If you're curious what it is, it's right here. And the time it took to bake is right here. Keep in mind, this is 4K, okay? If I was doing the, the standard 1024 square, that's 15 seconds, okay? So if you see long times, that's why. So right off the bat, if we just talk about like aesthetics, that's beautiful. Like it is an incredible image. As an architect, I look at all the details here. It's like everything's spot on. The hardware, the fixtures, right? I mean, everything's here. The appliances, the materials, like the stainless steel, the marble, the metals here. I mean, pretty much flawless. Like it even added a light switch here. The subway tile looks good. Under cab lighting, even decor, that makes sense. The fridge, we've got like a gap. I mean, it's just like everything is correct about this image. So very, very impressive. You know, in my my experience, I've done a lot of like text to image through Mid Journey. Mid Journey does a great job, but this is like the first time where I'm like, oh wow, this is like, this is better. This is like much more realistic and it looks it looks great. I mean, from a constructability point of view, this has me sold as being a potential photograph. So then this one, just to kind of, you know, see how it handles text and everything, I asked it to generate a magazine cover with a picture of a guy and some text. And like the text is there, the text is legible. You know, I do think it's like, you know, not to get like too critical. I don't think it's like 100% correct. I, I do feel like some of the letters are like slightly off, but like, 95% I feel like it's there. That looks amazing. So then over here, we've got our ramen over here. I mean, like, I'm not even gonna talk about the food right now, but just looking at the table, right? The details of like the wood, and you can see like even the rings like being lit up, like it, crazy. And then now talking about the food, we've got beautiful volumetrics. The bowl is actually like dirty from like the level of where the ramen was. And then, you know, as they, they slurped it, it basically went down, like that That details there. The egg, ramen, uh, pork, all looks amazing. I mean, it followed the prompt pretty close to a T, and like, and that's exactly what this diagram means here. Like if Sea Dream is this cyan, and Gemini, or Nano Banana, is blue, you could see that it's it's coming out in these directions, and, and basically beating everything except GBT image one. So. Pretty interesting, really, really good for food. And again, this is 4K. Like, I think that's a, another huge part of why this looks so good. So then I thought animals, like let's throw a golden retriever in there. I thought overall, like the face and everything looked amazing. I feel like this might look a little weird, but again, the eyes, I mean, the nose and everything, the fur, insane. So very, very impressive results. I mean, just like even the depth of field here, the foreground, the mid ground, all, all really impressive there. So then I did some flower studies, just testing this out. Here, thrown in a, you know, a cloudy sky with a sunflower. I mean, look at the detail of like the petals and everything. Like, I, I don't know if anyone could see this and be like, oh yeah, it's AI. And like that, that's the crazy part of how far 
this has come in just, you know, several years. I mean, like, look, look, like there's pollen on the leaves. Like these little details is really what sells that this could be a real photo. I mean, even like the fuzziness of the stalk and everything crazy. So then over here, um, instead of a sunflower, it did a tulip and these, I just thought they were like beautiful, artful images, really well done. You know, I love like the dew on the plants again, those hairs and everything. You know, the, uh, the fact that like light is shining through and there's, you know, like a petal on the other side. So that's, what's giving it that, uh, that thickness and not letting light come in. Like that's, that's just insane. And then here's another one, another close up again with the pollen and everything. Like it looks, it looks like a photo. Like I'm, I'm running out of tells here that this is all AI. So then I got into people and I check out this. This was basically, you know, portrait of a woman for LinkedIn and like, just look at the skin. This is like amazing. It actually has, you know, imperfections. Um, typically, you know, again, I'll use mid journey, but you usually have that like brushed look like, like a baby face. And it doesn't look as real as this. Like, look at that. I mean, the way the light hits it and you actually see like things that are more reflective and less reflective. And I also like the fact that by default, it wasn't just like a generic white woman because that that happens a lot in ai like we do a lot of international work and anytime we we go to upscale a person they go from like one race to another and it's just it's not great so appreciate that that's not an issue here but like think about the hair and everything like the strands so sold there then i was like let me throw a picture of you know something like central park this looks like it was taken with someone's digital camera i feel like the only tell here is I feel like we kind of have like two Empire State buildings and some like random buildings I've never seen in New York. But if we just think about like the backs of people and like the lighting and the shadows and the trees, it, it really does look like a digital camera photo. Just like it's it's pretty impressive. I mean, we we are getting so, so close to like perfection. And this was done in 37 seconds. Like that's that's crazy. Um, really, really did not expect all this to happen so fast. So pretty much succeeding in all of my benchmarks so far. Um, you know, I definitely want to compare this like apples to apples to nano banana and see what does a better job, but just like playing with this for a little bit, they're an incredible job. And now the next one for funsies, um, you know, I wanted to see what it would look like if we threw a Mediterranean dude in there doing some YouTubing. Pretty impressed. I mean, you know, back in the day it was like, oh, let's count his fingers. You know, that's how you tell it's like AI. But now his fingers are all correct and they've got like the correct veins and everything. I mean, that's, that's nuts. And then just from like a hardware setup, like it makes sense. Like he's got the mic here and then like, you know, the, the filter here and the camera and the laptop and a cup of coffee, obviously. Right. You need that. And like, this looks really accurate to what it's probably seeing. I mean, I, I don't know, guys, this is, it's just too much. I mean, same thing with the skin, you know, see a little bit of wrinkles here, right? Some imperfections here, same thing with the beard. You know, it's not like perfectly cut little, little rough, little scraggles here, you know, some chest hair here. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And the shirt details. And in my opinion, I think this is the benefit of being able to render directly into 4k. If we did this at 1024, it wouldn't look as good. At 4K, we're getting all these details. So crazy. Curious what you guys think about, you know, this model. Are you using it? You know, have you compared it against Nano? I definitely want to do a comparison in the future, but I want to hear more about your experiences with this so far, um, what blew you away and all that. But anyways, if you made it this far, consider subscribing, liking the video, helps me out, and I'll see you in the next video.